I will now give our opening prayer, followed by our moment of silent reflection, and then we'll begin our meeting proper. Uh, God, grant us understanding and patience that justice, truth, and honesty may be evident in our decisions. Make us mindful of the needs of the people throughout the town of Oakville. Help us govern with the wider community in mind, and so create in us a desire for progress and responsible action. We ask this in your name. Amen. My uh, name is Brian Bell, uh, no relation to Bell Telephone or a family dispute that we're having on this issue, uh, but I did want to uh, come this evening. Uh, we actually live, uh, my family lives directly behind the tower. So really, why are we opposed uh, to, to this? Uh, I would say first and foremost, uh, there's a safety concern. You, any, any one of us could Google and actually see what the concern is around it. There's hundreds and hundreds and thousands of web pages on this topic. So. Definite concern not only for, for me, but also my family members and the people within the community. It is, it is a major issue. Uh, first and foremost, that was not the original intent of that tower. It was not designed for commercial use. It was designed for the police department and for emergency response. So it's really important that that point is made because the terms have changed. We've changed how we're using it. We're changing it for commercial uses and somebody is financially benefiting it at, at our expense as taxpayers. But the reality is, is this is the town of Oakville's land. Unless I'm incorrect and you do not own it, that's a different ballgame. So I think each one of you has an opportunity to make a difference. And when I called today and talked to the various members, they said our hands are tied. They don't have to. The police service does not have to consult us. Uh, I just read the contract this evening. It kind of looks like it's slightly different. This is a licensing agreement. I find that hard to believe that the police and emergency medical response can do whatever they like in a residential neighborhood. So what's my request of the town? Um, really, it's, it's on behalf of myself, uh, the people in our neighborhood. You guys own the land. That's something I do know. Uh, if the emergency and medical response units don't want to play nice, I find that hard to believe. But there are ways that we can, we can make this happen. And first and foremost, it's not allowing Bell to do this and really getting more input on the topic. Thank you. On November 30th, it was brought to staff's attention that Bell Mobility was placing an antenna on the tower and that they were building a hut at the base of the antenna to provide services to their antenna on the tower. Staff requested at that time that Bell cease further work on the site until due diligence could be conducted. Staff immediately heard from the Halton Police Department that they had entered into an arrangement with Bell Mobility whereby the Halton Region Police Services is using a Bell Tower in North Halton in return for allowing Bell to use the tower at 2533 Rebecca Street. This arrangement saves the police about $36,000 a year annually, which would be the cost of uh, building or renting their own tower. I understood, do I understand correctly that that's actually what it would have cost them to rent space on the other tower in North Halton? There are two towers. Um, so the deal is, instead of paying the 18, that's an escalating scale, but instead of paying the $18,000 this year in North Halton um, to locate on that tower, they're getting that for free. It's a trade of service. Right. You, you told us that the police felt that they had received approval from the town. And then you went on to explain the fashion in which they claimed they had received approval. Would you mind telling that to council again, how it was you responded to Alan and I on that? Certainly. Um, the way that the town became aware that there was bell gear going up the uh, tower was uh, we asked for and received a drawing from Halton Region Police Force about uh, the nature of the gear that was going up the tower. and. Um, uh, that was um, that was stamped as a as a bell drawing, and so we became aware through that drawing that that was a that was a bell. Well, we didn't become aware, but that was notification that there was a bell antenna going up there. Um, the reason that we really truly became aware was through the uh, the work you did in notifying us. But then, you you explained. To, I want you to tell council how you explained to Alan and I that the police claimed that they had been given approval from the town. I can't remember precisely what I said to you, but we um, gleaned that information through conversations that we had as we were doing our due diligence, that it was a bell um, 
antenna that was put up there with the concurrence or the authority of the Halton Region Police Department. Do you, do you remember telling us that the police department approached the fire chief of the day because they wanted to put some additional power into the building. And your response was the fire chief said, I can't see anything wrong with that. That's so you went on to say then oh. that the police construed that that was municipal approval. Yes, yes, if you, if you study the license agreement, the license agreement s says um, that the contact person for the, uh, um, to do with that license was the fire chief. In putting the power, in, in Bell putting their antenna on that tower, um, Bell had to increase the power coming into the fire station. Um, so the fire station had, as I believe, 220, uh, 200 amps of service, and they needed to increase that so they could send a signal or send electricity up the tower. They, Bell contacted the fire chief and said, do you mind if we upgrade the, f the power going into the... Um no, Halton Region's technical person contacted me to ask if I had any objection to our hydro service being upgraded at no charge. Didn't talk about Bell at all. Is that clear? Could you hear that? I did, but that's a little different than what you told us last week. It could be. Uh, it, it is, yeah. substantially. I had inquired about the telecommunication tower at fire station number one when we purchased our home seven years ago. I was informed that it was for the sole purpose of emergency response communication. I was resigned to the fact that the telecommunications tower is a necessity for our community. However, the six bell antennas that have recently been installed will be transmitting for both emergency response and commercial use. The transmission of, therefore, will be constant. Electromagnetic radiation is emitted off these towers. It is harmful to humans and especially to children. This is a case of not in my backyard, but for good reason. My concern is for the health and safety of my family, my neighbors, and the daycare lo located below the tower and the firefighters at station number one who sleep directly below the tower. Thank you. A couple of questions. Is, uh, did you talk to the Oakville fire chief? Uh, I was told to speak to Lee Grant about three weeks ago. And how did that conversation go? Great. He was very accommodating with information. And um, I was just starting to dig and find out, you know, how could I possibly get more information, hopefully stop this start working on it. And um, Lee Grant was returned my phone call, was happy to discuss this with me, and said that the fire station is uh, not actually, that the tower actually belongs to Halton Regional Police, so it's not his jurisdiction. It is on the land, but it, because I was calling to ask him if he could stop it. <laughs> so did the fire chief, or Mr. Grant, that you were talking to at that time, did he confirm that he spoke in favor of this to the police or did he take no at that time at that time it was um that it belonged to the to the police and it was not his jurisdiction to say what antennas went on to the tower or not and and he relayed that to you that he yes. didn't authorize it yes thank you uh perhaps you could um uh, uh share with the counselor um your answer to whether you have sympathy to the complaint that there's a health concern about uh, cell towers. If in fact what is being said is accurate and is confirmed, then obviously we have uh, sympathies to anyone who brings forward those concerns. That's not our information. And we fall back to what I call the experts, and one of those experts is Industry Canada, who has allowed this to take place. They're the ones have determined where the towers are and who can co-locate on those towers. I have a question. In the view of your extremely thoughtful position on this, Chief, why on earth, when the original commitment to me 15 years ago, that I'll speak about subsequently, was made to the effect that it would only be for safety type uses and not for private enterprise. Why on earth didn't you contact the town and say, look, we'd like to do this, will you support us? 
Chair, I'd be happy to answer that question, Councillor. In fact, and all due respect to Fire Chief um, uh, Lee wrote to us, in fact, we have it in his email, that, uh, and I quote, just for your records, I agree to your proposal to allow Bell Canada to upgrade the hydro service to our station number one to 400 amps at their expense to allow their equipment requirements on the region's tower. And it is our responsibility uh, in dealing with the town to deal with the fire chief. And that's exactly what we did. We followed our procedures and directives and uh, the protocols that had been laid down. You were sure I have nothing further to say. I've heard two different stories from two different people all the same evening. Um, Commissioner Lalon, um, one question I have is my understanding that the purpose of this tower was for emergency and regional police services, full stop. Now I'm of the impression that it's now Halton Regional Police permitting Bell to use it for commercial use in addition to what they originally were going to be using it. Is that correct? I believe the original intention of the license was to support a life um, safety system um, that the police and the town have shared in for, for some time. And yes, I believe that the addition of the Bell Mobility antennas changes that original, um, that original tent, intent. Um, uh, the police have done that under a sub-license agreement with Bell in order to cut costs, but I think clearly it has changed the original intent. And can you give us some sort of clarity as to when this contract, and obviously it's between you and Bell, but just a ballpark figure as to when the existing contract might be um, completed and in need of uh, renewal? I can't give you a definitive answer at this time. I cannot. The original agreement, Council Robinson had uh, let me take a look at it. And to my way of thinking, that's in contravention to the agreement that we had. They were not permitted to sub-license. Is that not correct? I mean, if it was for police services, for EMS, that's one thing. But to do a commercial relationship was outside the parameters of what the original agreement was. Because in essence, another party is, um, albeit it's the taxpayer, but another party would be making money on town-owned land. Um, uh, you're entering into sort of the, 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 the elements of the contract, and I'd like to get uh, the town solicitor to respond to that. Your Worship, if we're starting to get into the realm of providing council legal advice on interpretation of the agreement, I would request an opportunity to provide that advice in camera. Council has met in a session closed to the public for the purpose of receiving advice that is subject to solicitor client privilege including communications necessary for that purpose. Uh, Councillor Robinson. Uh, Your you Worship, uh, uh, having searched their souls a little bit at this end, in any event, I have a new motion. You ready to hear it, sir? Yes, sir. That police services be advised of concerns, re the bell co-location, and staff be directed to work with HRPS to restrict commercial use on the tower and permit the continued use of the tower for EMS and police use and town use, and further, that Bell equipment not be energized at this time. Um, I, I will uh, take the opportunity to say that I support the staff recommendation, and I believe that uh, going down the path indicated by the councillor is uh, going down a path that is um, uh, going to be very problematic for uh, us and the other governmental agencies that we have to work with. But I'll leave it at that in interest of the time, and I will call the vote. All in favor? 
We're not having. You, do you want a recorded vote? Oh, I didn't hear that. So, all those in favor, please rise to be recognized. Councillor Johnston, Councillor Robinson, Councillor Duddock, Councillor DeMoff. All those opposed, rise to be recognized. <coughs> Councillor Adams, Councillor Grant, Councillor Knoll, Councillor Lapworth, Councillor Elger, Mayor Burton, Councillor Giddings, and Councillor Bird. Well, a battle over cell phone signals is taking place in Oakville tonight. Some residents are trying to prevent commercial cellular antennas from operating in their community. The group's concerned about the potential health effects and what impact power transformers and microwave radiation will have on neighbors and a nearby fire hall. Al Sweeney's live now with more on this story for us tonight. And Al, some pretty serious concerns here. Nick, you're right. Uh, concerns about cancer and other diseases. Now, a group of cell phone antennas have already been installed, but the residents are angry about that, and they're trying to stop them from being activated. Now, about 40 to 50 people, including children, demonstrated this afternoon in front of a fire station at Bronte Road in Rebecca. They're trying to convince Bell not to go ahead with its plans to turn on the antennas. The fire station has had a communications tower for about 15 years, but the cell phone antennas were added recently. The residents say that leaves them towering over the neighborhood and closer than they should be to residential areas. They say the signals from the antennas are even more dangerous than cell phone signals. The World Health Organization this past year, 2011, issued a warning about the dangers of cell phone use. You know not to carry them in your pocket anymore. You know that it's dangerous for children to have them at their ears, right? We all know that little kids absorb these radio waves at greater frequencies than adults do. They don't have the protection and women who are pregnant. So we know the dangers. It, the, the, some of the outcomes that they believe this is over time, it can be cancer, diabetes, all kinds of things. The best chance of any saving grace here would be for Bell Cellular to sort of wake up and realize what they're doing and take it down and put it someplace else. They say there are plenty of other places the antennas could go. Now, this being Valentine's Day, the protesters say their demonstration was also meant as a valentine for the firefighters in the station. They say the firefighters are in more danger than anyone else being right under the antennas. Now, they're still hoping to convince Bell to not to turn on the antennas, and they're hoping Bell representatives will go to a public meeting that's being held in a nearby church in the area on March 1st.